Yeah. That is to okay, so I was lucky enough. This is like maybe ten or twelve years ago. I got a record deal and a songwriting deal. Okay. And uh, when we release some music to go on the radio, they put me through a little bit of like media training. Media training. Yeah, because we're gonna have to go to all these radio interviews for the to promote the record. Yeah. And you know, so that they teach you to keep keep the conversation about you about the record you know so for instance one of the singles was freedom like this the song freedom like this Mm -hmm. and so they whenever the uh if it was near fourth of july you're gonna bring the song back talking about freedom Freedom. and yeah any the song's not even patriotic but it's got that one word yeah so they and so then you're like in this space of just keeping it exciting and happening and bringing it all the always yeah. the conversation back to the single and or whatever whatever event the radio station's promoting that week. Yeah. Is it fair to say you took that? So I I, I guess where I'm going with this is cause the conversation we just had about social media. Mm. They they're educating you to be a certain person. And you could, did you fight <sighs> that? You're like, "Oh, but that's not me, but I've got this deal. I got to do what they say." It had to be tough that to, well, okay. Sort of to to maintain you. Yeah, you. I mean, all of it is kind of a an interesting transformation where you're like, how how should I put this? I'm this sensitive teenager yeah. who wants to make songs. Yeah, and that's all I cared about. And then I mean, then all of a sudden I like go to music school and I get this training, and then I'm using those skills to make money. But then it's like, wait, there's this fulfilling thing that I do just to like for me but then it's like I also need to make money at it so like what or I'm trying to make money at it and then eventually I'm like 30 years old I get a record deal and stuff and I'm playing these gigs and I'm being promoted and doing all this stuff and inside I'm trying to express something I'm trying to like find the meaning of life in a song or something right and so I'm playing these gigs and the response I'm getting from the fans is like, oh my God, you are so hot. You should do, <laughs> yeah, like, you're like a Luke Bryan type person. And I'm like, it w- so it was like that, that <laughs> yeah. dissonance there. Like, yeah. And I'm not even saying anything about people that like that type of music or um, anything bad about Luke Bryan. I'm not even going to go to like different strokes for different yeah. folks. People, yeah. you know, they want something, you know, that's like telling somebody they're wrong because they want to eat mcdonald's instead of filet mignon or something like (laughs) everybody has their experience everybody's doing their thing but i was going like wait it was this like urge like this need to feel gotten and so i'm going to from this place of like i'm trying to express my soul in these songs to this industry real industry the 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 the, uh, mainstream song publishing industry and i'm with my publisher who's a great guy very friendly, but he wanted to like give me some tough love. So I would show up uh, to write these songs or to show these songs that I had been writing, yeah. and he would be like, "That's the worst song I ever heard in my life." Oh man, you poured your heart and soul. Into yeah, that. well, which in of course it stung, but it forced me to look at what was going on. I, I, yeah. Most people that whatever they're doing, they're not aware of the context they're doing it in. Yeah. And if you know what your context is. And you can change it to yeah. something you want it that is more that more aligned with yeah. your commitments, or you can just kind of play the game or whatever. Yeah. So, so yeah, in some it, ways yeah. that made me like significantly stronger. Yeah, you know, to start, I had a the songwriting deal was like four years, and starting with the beginning of I'd write a song and he'd be like, "That's the worst song." But I've yeah, ever he's running this machine, right? Because money. his context <laughs> is like, I want to get this song to Blake Shelton. Okay. Blake Sheldon is not going to write a song about how like his heart was broken and yeah, there unless it's like fits his brand or yeah, yeah, you know yeah. like it's so it's I'm not really explaining it that well but no 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 you are in, in fact uh, what I'm curious what did they see your brand being more happy energetic or you know where did they want you to go I don't think that they, I think that yeah. I don't think that they really knew I uh-huh. they were they were concerned that they that so like my team and my publisher these are like very compassionate caring people there there's like it wasn't like i just signed to some label and they're like we're gonna turn we're gonna just like we don't care about your feelings we're gonna just turn you into this product they, yeah. they so there was clearly this concern that they wanted me to be me 
but they maybe didn't necessarily have the, or maybe I just didn't hear it, the communication to be like, figure out who you are and stand by it. Because this is one thing that it t- I learned the hard way is that if you're going to be an artist, especially yeah. a performing artist, you're asking people to throw spears at you. You're yeah. asking people to throw rocks at you. Because yeah. like, if you're going to get on stage and express something, you're going to say something, you're, you're asking for it. And if, you're, if you choose it, you'll be ready for it. Yeah. You know? So four years later, I'm showing up to show some songs and the publisher's like, that's, that doesn't make any sense. That's a stupid song. Yeah. And I'd be like, well, <laughs> I, you must just not get it. Yeah. And so to tell the guy that discovered Kenny Chesney and, uh, oh, wow. Randy, uh, Randy Travis yes. to tell him like, you must not get it. You should have saw his face and we're, we're close by then. Right. He's yeah. like, he's, pro- yeah. he was probably like 80 at the time. And he's just like this MF, like, dude, this guy, he just told me, I don't get it. Yeah. I discovered, you know, but I, and I said, yeah. you must not get it because there was 25 Oof. young women dancing to this song last night. Yeah, yeah. I pulled it out with the band. And so they got it. Yeah, they got <laughs> yeah, it. They got it. So, you know, and this guy, um, he actually passed away. We became very close friends. Charlie Monk, he would he would actually he would get mad for like two <laughs> seconds. You could see the sting in his face, and then but he was smart enough and aware enough to realize he'd be like, "You're right." Mm. You, you know, he was aware enough to know like he was from a different generation. People are responding to for, to different things. Yeah. Whatever's called country music changes every ten years, five years. Oh, I'd say so. Yeah. He was aware that he he didn't really have all the answers. More old school. Yeah. 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 So a level of respect for each other probably occurred. Yeah. Out of that conversation. Yeah. yeah. Um, the music, music really bridges all yeah. differences, ages, yeah. um, races, whatever. I mean, cause there was, we would, we would listen to the same song and just be like, yeah, little teardrop, you know? <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah. Another song just giggling like two yeah. teenage kids, even though there was probably 50 years between us yeah. i remember this is a little not too veering off the path but i just remember being in ca- a car with my mom and a song would come on the radio and i'd be like oh yeah this is cool and singing along and she'd be like oh you like this song it's like yeah yeah she's like oh yeah i had this in high school <laughs> i'm like nah you, no way you did you know and it it just it bridges years totally. and comes back and yeah. Man, I see it now because in the last few years, I've really gone back to the thing that really got me into playing music, the yeah. like blues and rockabilly and kind of old school music, you know, yeah. Chuck Berry is one of the first things that I was just like, this is amazing. Yeah. Um, I've kind of just really been focusing on that the last couple of years and I will meet lots of teenagers, young people like, man, that's, a, this is the, they're like heard it for the first yeah, time yeah but for them i invented it you know they're like you're a genius i'm like well 